So here you are trying to break into the IT field. You just got your first certification. You just got your degree, but every single job you apply for requires two, four, six years of experience for an entry level job. WTF. You know what that stands for. We're saying it because what the f why? Why is this? I don't understand it. And I just recently posted this out on LinkedIn and asked this question. And this post got a ton of views and a lot of people commenting saying, yeah, I apply for jobs every day, but they always require experience. And this is BS. It is BS guys. I don't understand it. And I wanted to hear from somebody who could help shine some light on this. And guess what? Not one person could give a valid reason as to why this is. But the most frequent answer that I received, both in the comments and in private messages, was it's HR. It's HR that's causing this problem. Now, I can't say for sure that human resources is the number one problem behind this, meaning people are saying that the HR departments are building these job requirements and posting these jobs and they have no idea what they're doing. They have no idea what is required. And here's where I'm kind of like weary on because it's not up to the HR department necessarily to create an accurate job description and job requirements. Now they might give that final approval. They might publish it. But at the end of the day, like it falls on the IT department as well, your IT director, your uh, CTO, where they have to give their HR department the requirements that they seek. And this is where it becomes frustrating because is it the IT director, CTO, whatever, or is it HR that is requiring these ludicrous demands for years of experience for entry-level jobs? Now let's take this all back because an entry-level role is really exactly how that sounds. And to be honest with you guys, there are many people out there who can fill the role of entry level and they don't have any IT experience. They don't have any degree. They don't have any certifications. They, they, there's been hundreds of thousands of people who have landed entry level IT roles with none of these because they have great personalities. They have great customer service experience because at the end of the day, really all entry level IT is is customer service. Now, I don't mean that in a negative way towards technology because yeah, having the technology skills is extremely important. Having the technology skills can really help you advance much quicker than somebody who doesn't. But when you are in entry level, like help desk or whatever, you know, these types of roles are almost always customer service facing. Now, you might not face a customer in person face to face, but you might be over the phone with them or through some kind of chat with them trying to resolve their issues. And many times what you're going to find is with in these types of environments, when you're in entry level, you have all of the resources to your disposal for troubleshooting what you need to do. And when I say all those resources, I typically primarily mean Google because Google will be your number one resource for all information. And Every IT professional out there who's been in the field for 10, 15, 20 plus years will tell you that Google is by far your best resource when troubleshooting issues. So if you can troubleshoot based on researching on Google, you're qualified for an entry level job. And you'll see that many times within enterprise environments, even smaller environments, they have internal wiki pages or internal ticketing systems that document troubleshooting within their environments which is highly suggested. And I talked about this before. We're going to talk about this more in the future because it's so important, but you guys don't have to have these years of experience to do this stuff. That's what this is all about. That's what I was, I'm like just babbling on and on about is you don't need years of experience. And the fact that these companies and organizations are requiring years of experience is complete and utter bull. Now, I probably hopefully bleep that out during the editing process, but I just want to make that point. Like, it's BS. And if you are part of that problem, if you're the one who is, you know, requiring these ludicrous, you know, job requirements and requ requiring years of experience, I just want to punch you in the face. Like, I really do. Like, it's just ridiculous that you are gatekeeping 
potential IT professionals from entering the field because why? Because they don't have experience for an entry-level role, which completely just defeats the entire purpose of having an entry-level role, right? Like that's, that's how I feel. Now, is it that many of these companies are getting to a point where they're just gonna let somebody else do their entry level? Where, you, like, like let's, let's envision this. Like, some of these companies that require years of experience are hoping that some other company is gonna give Joe Blow a chance and they're gonna get a couple years of experience and then they're all of a sudden qualified for this next role, which is also entry level. It's like, I hope that makes sense because no, it doesn't work like that. If you have two plus years of experience in an entry level IT job, you should never be looking for another entry level IT job after that. Meaning you should be advancing your career. So if the job is requiring two plus years of experience for entry level IT, you know right off the bat that's not an environment you want to work in because they value you this much. Yeah, that's right, nothing. They don't value you. In the real world of IT, the typical job turnaround time is between two to four years. Entry level people do not work an entry level job more than two years. Start advancing your career. As far as landing the job for the first time, with these ludicrous requirements. The only thing that I can really suggest that you guys do is make sure you're applying for everything. Make sure you're tailoring your resume, your cover letters for those specific IT jobs. And to give yourself experience, try to volunteer anywhere that you can, get an internship if you can, and most importantly, build and document your own home lab and put that on your resume. Make it visible that people can see. Document it on YouTube, build a website, show everything that you've done, show that you have some type of experience, and good luck to you. I'm sorry that the IT environments are like this and they're, they're stopping you from entering this glorious field, and I really mean glorious in an amazing way because I love IT. I could never see myself doing anything else, and I know there's hundreds of thousands of millions of people out there who feel that same way. So good luck to you. If you guys have any other comments, questions, concerns, hit me up in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. That's it for today's video. As always, take it easy.